Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Cordant. We are back for some more Pills of Eternity with the Triple Crown difficulty settings. In the last episode we helped Mr. Dalton by clearing out the catacombs and reuniting him with his friend and lover, which was kinda trapped in a necklace. We killed the evil guy that had entrapped her, so the quest was completed. My goal for this episode is to at least look into the something secret task which I think is going to be a, a quick and easy one. It's just a kid telling us that he knows about um, a hiding spot, a secret, and he's going to tell us, uh, tell us if we manage to get him a March Steel Dagger. After that, I think I'm going to go for the missing sentries, which will take us into Heritage Hill for the first time, but I think this is a, a cool quest with a little bit of action. And finally, I just wanted to mention that we have the quest, the, the main quest, Never Far From The Queen. And if you remember, when we were on the catacombs yesterday, over here, we saw that there was a level, a, stair, a staircase going down, which leads into the Temple of Wodica. And if we read a little bit more into this quest, Never Far From The Queen, we can see right here that I learned from Mayrwall that members of the Laden Key tend to worship Wodica. And the steward has mentioned that there is a temple dedicated to Wodica in Defiance Bay. So, naturally, I don't want to go for, for the main quest just yet, so I'm going to try and avoid the second level of the catacombs for now. So, starting with something secret, we need to talk to... a merchant selling weaponry near the expedition hall. Okay, so that should be around this area. I think we've met pretty much all of the vendors. We, we purchased Borosane uh, over here. Uh, maybe it's the same vendor. Let's see. So, Commoner, Justicar, Laura... Of course. I'm guessing it's gonna be this guy. Maybe it even says a name. No, it doesn't. Hail and well met. Ah, there we go. Anything in particular you'd like to see? I'm looking for a particular dagger made of March steel. Just like the Crucible Knights use, let me guess. You've been talking to that kid, right? He laughs and shakes his head. I'd be tempted to sell it to you anyways and let the little rascal learn his lesson, but a pack of adventurers already took it off my hands. Hmm. The plot thickens. I am curious about this one. If March steel daggers are only given to Crucible Knights, how did you get your hands on one? Igrun pauses mid-polish, his cloth slowing over the blade. A lot of steel passes through my hands, friend. I don't make it my business to ask where it all comes from. Okay, I'm guessing, yeah, somebody took it off a corpse or something. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Eh, this could be cool, but I don't, I don't like threatening. I'm gonna go with this one. I'm not trying to get you in trouble, but you should be careful about what you trade and whom you trade with. Trafficking in stolen goods is risky. He grunts. Appreciate the concern, but there's no need to worry. I keep my nose good enough. Okay. Uh, well, tell me more about the dagger. He oils the cloth in his hand. Made out of a high purity iron ore that comes out of the White March Mountains. Traditionally, the smiths at the Crucible Keep have smelted it into daggers and swords, which they only give to the Knights of the Crucible. Of course, I'd be surprised if that kid didn't already tell you all of this. He grins. Eh, yeah, true. Those adventurers you sold the dagger to, where are they now? Folk like that only visit Copper Lane to crew up at Admet's Den Expedition Hall or down a pint at the Goose and Fox. And since they weren't headed into the Den, well, you've got my best guess. Okay. So let's leave. Or actually, let me just check again what he has for sale. He has a scepter. Oh, he has this thingy, which is quite cool. Ooh, and I like this one. For it there as well. Plus one to enemies engaged. This is really nice. It's quite expensive as well, so I'm gonna keep off it for now. But I do like that weapon a lot. Or even for Kana. Because Kana doesn't really have a lot of engagement targets. And this would help him out a lot. Hmm, I do like this stuff though. Oops. 
I will take this because these are useful for certain interactions throughout the game. So I will take those. Okay. So, some adventurers have purchased the thingy. Let's look for them at the Goose and Fox. I am completely aware that giving a dagger to a small child isn't a good idea, but I, I want to do the quest. He did it pretty. <laughs> I, I just love the, the sign. Okay. So we have patrons, actresses, people that don't really matter. We have a bodyguard and a noble. I think there were actually some... Ooh. Hero of Levy looks on looks on enigmatically through the, from the canvas. I think there were adventures at the top. Yeah, these guys maybe. I've spoken to them before. Uh, the one that spoke was this one. This one. Good day to you. Aha, back again. I see. Did you buy a March a March steel dagger from Igrun? He displays the blade on a flat palm. I did. And a fine piece it is. I don't know of any more circulating in the city. Outside the steel in the crucible keep, of course. Hmm. How much to take it off your hands? He turns the blade in the light, admiring it. Seeing as how there's a sudden demand for this, 100 pen seems fair. Hmm. So you can just concur. Or, demand isn't as high as you think. Chances are good that, that that dagger was stolen or looted off of one of the knights. In that case, I'm probably doing you a favor. And I do believe that you only get this, this particular answer if you have certain properties. Uh, I think this one is resolve based. Or intellect, maybe? One of the two. Let's go for this one. He frowns. Can't be too careful around the authorities these days, especially as an Orlan. Fine, I'll sell it, but not for less than 50. I'm getting my money back at the very least. Okay, sure, 50 seems fine. Deal. He hands you the dagger, hilt first. Pleasure doing business with you. We lost 50 copper, we gained 300 experience. Cool. Anything else you wanted? No, thank you. Let's leave. So let's find out which secret that little kid is hiding. Hopefully something good. Uh, he was around... No, he's here, he's here. I remember. I remember the child. The child of destiny. Gordy. Gordy bounces on the pavement. Did you get it? Do you have the dagger? Can I see it? <laughs> I have the dagger right here. Gordy stops bouncing and stares at it, gaping in awe. It's so sharp! Okay, let's see if we can give him some hints on how to use this instead of have him just killing himself with it. A deal's a deal. <laughs> Toss him the dagger, don't kill yourself or anything. I think I picked this option when I was playing an evil character. Slowly hold out the dagger, pommel first. Listen first. When you're not using it, keep it sheathed or it will rust. Don't show it off or someone's going to take it away from you. Or worse, it's a weapon, not a toy. Do you understand? Gordy's hand trembles as he restrains himself from snatching the dagger away. He nods, holding the dagger in his sheath. In its sheath. I'll take good care of it, I promise. We lost the dagger, we gained a bunch of experience. And I just want to mention right here that this option, slowly hold out the dagger pommel first, this is an option that I think you only get if you have at least four points in survival. If you do not, you don't get this option. So, about that secret. Gordy puts his hand up to his mouth and whispers loudly. Whispers loudly? <laughs> I saw one of the actors hide something under a loose stone near the theater. Probably nothing as good as a March Steel Dagger, though. Dude, I already have that. <laughs> Great secret, I already knew that. Tell me something else. He scratches his head and wrinkles his brow. Uh, sometimes my dad goes to Andre's gift without telling my mom, 
Some place called the Salty Mast. <laughs> I think this is a brothel. Hopefully he's one of the uh, hopefully he's one of those ones that goes there just to talk about his feelings. So Eder also knows the place. Mmm. This tells us something about him. Oh god! That's amazing. Here's a secret for you. Your dad doesn't love you or your mother. Thanks for wasting my time, you little dolt. <laughs> Again, an excellent option for an evil playthrough. Well, thank you for telling me, Gordy. Bye! Hey, task completed. Something secret. Do we have any other information here? I gave the dagger to Gordy, but I taught him how to handle it safely. Good. He agreed to be careful with it, and he told me about a loose brick in the theater. Now, I knew this already, I just didn't want to spoil it. Uh, this loose brick gives us access, I believe, to the Oaken Scarab figurine, which is this summon that I, I honestly should use a lot more often. Uh, but it is very, very useful. Cool. So if you don't know what it is, him giving you that information is quite, quite useful. Okay. So what happened here? We, got, we gained some money, we lost a little bit to bandits, which is cool, we have a high security score. And we are still building, right? Oh no, we can build already? Ah, oh, right, we can build multiple things at the same time. I forgot about this. Interesting. So what do I want? What, what gives me the most prestige and security? These give me a lot of security. I think I'm going to go for this one. Plus two prestige, plus one security. Ah, God damn it. Okay, so I was right. I just... <laughs> Never mind. I got to wait for the other one to finish. So now I'm going to go for the missing sentries. This will take us into Heritage Hill and the... The, the fastest way to go there is through here. I think we're gonna have some fun things to do in Heritage Hill. So, Heritage Hill. Our first time there. Let's all enjoy it. Okay. Best turnaround, Traveler. Heritage Hill is closed. Not to us, friend. Welcome. Welcome. The guard holds up a palm. Sorry, but this district's closed by order of the Duke himself. So I'm gonna inquire before I tell him that Wyla sent me. What's going on in there? Both guards look at each other. Look, even if I were allowed to tell you, I don't rightly know. All I can say is it... What? All I can say is it... Whatever it is, started about two months ago. The guards that closed the gate talked of something unnatural that still wakes them in the middle of the night. I don't want to know any more than that. Was there anything else? Well, Wyla sent me, I'm looking into the missing guards. So you're the one she sent word about. The guard looks you up and down, frowning. I was expecting her to send in a whole squad of justiciars. Not that I'm volunteering, mind you. I'll have the gate opened immediately. Just watch your step. I'm afraid we can't send anyone after you if this goes badly. Any ideas what might have happened to the other guards? None. And I've no desire to find out, if you catch my meaning. The ones that disappeared weren't the deserting type. The worst part is, both times the watch disappeared, the next rotation found the gate unlocked. I don't know whether they went in or whether something got out. But if it's the latter, refugees are going to be the least of our problems. Have you heard of or seen anything unusual? Friend, I try to see and hear as little as possible. One of the women on the last watch said she heard someone shouting from the northeast part of the district, something that sounded like an order, but I don't see how anyone could survive in there. Once or twice I've caught a glimpse of something moving on the other side of the gate. The guard shudders. I just as soon forget it. Farewell. Well, this guard is really doing the bare minimum. <laughs> And Play let's enter, dark. ooh, cautious mode, because I want to see what's over this here. This entire district smells like a tomb. What could have done this? Yes. Okay. So we have some skeletal fighters, rangers, and wizards. 
there's not really much of a choke point to defend, except if I bring them over here, which honestly hey. is probably the safest option. Are you guys gonna earn your keep? <laughs> They're paying you a salary after all, so hey. let's see if you guys can actually do something useful. I don't think I ever tried this fight like this. For Aethus! Nice shot. Okay, so let me slow down this. We have an excellent chokehold here. This guy is already sending in the bouncing missiles. I'm gonna try to avoid them if possible. And it there is gonna hold his ground here. Okay, the other guards are. Ooh, I think the other guards are gonna die. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Okay, my friends, I think you are... Eh, let's go a little, bit, a little bit further back to try to avoid this. Okay, good. Second one. Okay. So, now that they sent the bounding missiles, I'm gonna tr um, send my people in. The Justiciars are barely injured and injured, but they won't take much damage, I don't think, because it there is blocking the path. Or maybe they will. Can I heal them? I'm not sure if this will heal, but since they are allied characters, maybe it will. I hope it will. Okay, so I would like you to start working on these wizards, because they are going to be annoying. And you are going to try to paralyze this one. Okay, you are going to move up. No need to be in stealth. Wow, they shot from all the way back there? Okay. Okay, the rangers I don't really care much about. I just want to kill the wizards as fast as possible. And I'm going to try to use books to do it. Okay, I don't, I'm not sure if I healed the Justiciers. I don't think I did. I think they're gonna die. Can I save them? Justiciar, where are you? There, near death. Let's use withdrawal, withdrawal on him. Okay, Kana's fighting, everything seems fine. Okay. Ah, wow, she can't see. That sucks. There's a lot of effects going on in the screen. This guy can't do much either. Uh, can you put a chill fog over there? You can. I think you can. Let's toss out a painful interdiction around here. Good. Okay. Chill fog has gone out. Book. Book. And, uh, god. One guy down, the other one is injured. Oh well. It is what it is. Okay, shoot. You shoot the wizard. You can toss out this thingy, which works out very well. Good job. And start killing them over here. Shoot this one. Everything is under control now. I'm gonna place a phantom in the back line just to help out a little bit. And the rest of us just kill whatever's left. Blam! Okay, go for the ranger. This guy is stunned. He's gonna die very soon. I think he's even hitting the guard or something. Strange. Phantom, go over there. Okay. Wait, what? Oh my god, man. Uh, you know what this is? For those of you who have been paying attention, even though you can't really see, so I kind of got screwed over here. I did mention something like this back in... Uh, what was the name of the guy, man? Roderick's Keep? The the Keep with the Lord of Deerwood? Uh, that there was a time in the past when I had a chill fog in the ground 
And when the other allied people came in, they stepped on the chill fog. They took damage and then they went hostile, which is completely stupid. It just happened right here. You can see right here he's blinded. That's because of the chill fog. And now he's hostile against me. Which might screw me over. I hope not. Let's see. So much. Okay. Let's move in. Well, I'm gonna have to kill him. Now, the really important thing over here, and this is this is what I'm concerned about, is I effectively killed a Justiciar. So why am I worried? Because... I don't think I lost any kind of reputation, which is good. I'm still considered benevolent. Okay, I'm gonna pick up the loot. And I'm going to hope that when I go to other areas of Defiance Bay, guards are not hostile to me. Because this would be very, very unfortunate. I don't think so. I don't think they are. Because this is pretty much a, a, a run killer, right? You can't do much about it. Okay. I think we're fine. I think we are fine. That, that could have gone a lot worse. Keeping an eye out. Maybe I should have just come in and fight over here to avoid the guards. I don't know. Th this is still the safe option, honestly. Woo! Tanglefoot? I see something. Oh, Shikrich. Oh, nice. Displaced image, very nice. 25 deflection, 20 reflex for a lot of time. I'll take that. Let me just fix my inventory here because if I need something else, I'm gonna get screwed. So this can go into my stash, I believe. Because I already have two over here. Okay. So you can take this. You can put this over there. This is fine. Have I read this before? The note is bloodstained and torn, and the edges are smudged with some kind of pigment. From the scraps that are legible, you can make out harshly, uh, hastily written instructions. To avoid the entrance in the tower, traffic through my shop will attract the attention. Deerford may be sympathetic to our goals, but they wouldn't approve of a temple. Ah, this is from Deerford Village. Okay, I'll leave it here. <laughs> it, it's not for right now. Okay, let, let's carry on. Uh, you can move quickly. I think this is actually a big area. Yeah, it's a, it's a biggish area. Where there's a pick, there's a way. My rogue can easily take care of this locked door. Ooh. Dargul, a vessel. Okay, choke point. So we should be fine. It there, go over there, and we can just destroy this guy. What are you casting, my friend? I would like to know. But I don't know. Knock him down. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god, he has a lot of HP. Dude! He took... What? This doesn't seem right. He took 13 plus 39 plus 42 plus 84 and he is only injured? Oh my god, man. Okay, well, uh, let's do that. It's paralyzed for four seconds. That's an easy kill. Pew. Okay, these these guys have a lot of HP. I did not completely remember that. Okay, do the reload. Awesome, we got some vessel flesh. This reeking flesh once held a bound soul. With its energy fading, the flesh is entering a rapid decay. 
who doesn't want to store rotten meat hey. in their stash, huh? Yes. I know I do. Okay, there. Hello. Can we... Ooh, we can. Uh, I'm gonna pull some extra people into my choke point. Like this guy right here. Back up over to this region. You guys fall a little bit back. Okay. Uh, are your friends coming? Apparently not. Knock them down. Good job. Okay, so these guys... The... Where are they? The name. I want the name. Ah, the ghouls are very, very weak. The other ones are not as weak. Just lower the volume a little bit. Okay, so these are revenants. Varethus! Same strategy. Fall back into... Ooh, this is a little bit more. Fall back into a safe place. Get the choke point holding. Your th that's my okay, they're coming in. Blow, deep. Blow them up. Revenant, Dargul... Ah, the Dargul are the, are the tough ones, right. I don't know what this guy is casting, but I don't like it. So, shoot that one. I'm gonna get Phantom Foes to flank everybody in the area. Uh, for now, you just shoot. Painful Interdiction. Just shoot. You can take this off, actually. Blinded and stunned. <laughs> Lovely. I have phantom foes on everybody, so they are all flanked, which means every single hit from my rogue is going to be a sneak attack. I'm gonna bring Durance to the front. Because I want my Holy Radiance to um, give us an accuracy boost as well as damage all of the vessels, because they are all vessels. So they will take damage from this. Let's just see how much. And my lady over here, I think she's simply going to toss a nuke and then just start shooting normally. You, I want you to use the power of knowledge. I'm going to try and get a different metaphor every time <laughs> to damage these people. Yeah, so this is the damage from Holy Radiance. It's, it's not like a gigantic nuke that kills everything, but it does help out a bit. Now we can move back and just shoot them. Books are going out. Kill them. You can shoot. You can move up, I think it's fine. Let's all focus on Dargul. And try to knock him down. And what is your thingy over here? Paralyzes enemies in the area of effect. I'm gonna try this out. See how well it works. Just gotta wait for another chant, which is right now. Uh, radius, tell me the radius. 7.4 meters, it should hit everything, right? I'm guessing this is like 8 meters? Mm. Like this, should work. Just keep shooting. Yeah, love. Oh! 10 seconds, 16 seconds, 10 seconds. <laughs> I'm very happy. Come you. Wait, wait, wait. This guy was paralyzed, but he didn't have the symbol. Okay, hmm. free kills. There we go. Lovely. Choke points, best defense. Nice and quiet. Okay, when another lock, lock thingy. Away, it's finished. Oh. Plus 10 defense against spells. I want this. Don't know who's gonna use it though. Plus 9 to will. Chant area. I like that. Protections. 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 Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna swap it. I, I like I like what I have currently. We still we are still missing a lot of items as you can see. But we will we will get this done. 
The cross-hatched claw marks score this right, vault. Then. I have a feeling there's gonna be another fight in this region, so... Okay. Applying the same tactics, this is gonna be my choke point. It could also be over here, but over here it's, it's a, a wider area. If I can choke them down this pathway, it's gonna be a lot better for me. Okay, at least three any... Oh, oh, oh. I did not mean to pull like this, but it's gonna work out. Come here, friend. Okay, he's bringing his frames, which is good. Melt. Yeah, so, yeah, like like this. They can't even cross, <laughs> so it's gonna be one at a time. It's not necessary, these aren't particularly difficult enemies, but I guess this just shows to, goes to showcase the, the potential of choking off the enemies. This is extremely safe for me. I'm even gonna start having my rogue work on the Dark Ghoul. Well. Oh, the Phantom Foes didn't hit the one in the back. Shame. Okay. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, you guys can focus over here. So much for you. Okay, next one. I'm gonna blind this guy, because why not? And you shoot this one. <laughs> I just love the damage. Let's paralyze him. Oh, really? You missed? You rolled a 9? <sighs> Critical fail. So much for you. Oh, we did do something. What did he do? Ah, he paralyzes. What a bitch. Okay, I see. So they can be a little bit problematic if they paralyze my tank. Thankfully, it was not the case. Don't you dare. They have so many so hit points. Bear, bear. There we go. Some more rotten flesh. By the way, doesn't this work against... Oh no, it's only spirits, not vessels. Alright. Of course. Ooh. Oh, requires a proper key. Okay, so cannot be lockpicked. Keeping an eye out. A small plaque at the base reads, Freedom above all, Admeth Hadrit. Okay. okay. This entire area seems to be cleared out. I'll take some treasures. I'll see it done. It's I'll finished. see it done. Some money. I, I did not forget about this door. I will come here later. Okay, so we have a dark ghoul. He seems to be alone. But if I need to, I can fall back to this position. Okay, he disengaged, which means he's going for somebody else in my party. Let's try to paralyze. Okay, that worked. So much for Paralyzed land. Oh, it did not land. Lady, how much are you rolling? A two. <laughs> a nine and a two. Thank you, mother. Dude, stop, stop it. Who are you going? He's going for me. Okay, time to tank, Kana. Let's... Okay, so he's focusing on us now, so we're fine. Three points. Okay. Let's go for a paralyzation. Never mind, he's dead. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Alright then. 
If secrets whisper here, I shall listen for it. This mausoleum has been sealed tight. More money. Oh, hello. A Dargul. I think there's going to be a few of them over here. So I'm going to pull with it there into this point here. But I think I'm going to yes. need Kana to close off the choke point. Poof. Okay, come here. Oh, okay, there they come. Ooh. I, mm, I'm gonna put Kana over here. Because otherwise, when these guys start moving up, they're gonna start surrounding Kana. And Kana is more vulnerable than it there. So I, I actually want Kana to go over here. Okay, so now we're gonna toss out a painful interdiction. Grieving Mother is gonna place Phantom Foes on the ghoul. You are going to start tossing books in this region, which is a good region. And that's it. Okay, so now they're surrounding it there, which is what I wanted. And now I can place Kana over here. And I actually want the books in this area now. Okay, so you are gonna start working on the ghoul. We have the painful interdiction. Holy radiance. Oh, I don't think I hit the ones in the back, which sucks. It's okay. It is okay. Yes. Okay, we are doing fine. Oh, did you see this blast from Aloth? <laughs> Just kill three people. Love it. How may I help? Uh, sure, let's try and paralyze. Oh, they're both near death. It's okay. Just, just kill. All oh, right, this is Dargul. It's gonna take a while. So paralyze. Try to paralyze as well. Double paralyzation. Why not? Okay. Can I swap your what you are doing? I actually want Recall Agony. Causes the target to relive the psychic trauma of an injury moments after receiving it, experiencing the damage all over again. Go for it. Done. <laughs> We're gonna get our stuff. Keeping an eye out. We're gonna continue exploring. Oh, more enemies over there. Crockware, stale foodstuffs, and once priceless vases, now chipped and cracked, fill the wagon. Okay, I like this position over here, so I'm gonna bring them back. The same deal as before. Hey. So this time I want Kana in this region to stop anybody that's circling around it there. What? And all of us stay in the back. Hey. And now Leave we pull. It to me. 36 damage. Fall back over here. Great. Okay, Dargul coming in. Knock him down. Start shooting. 2.5 seconds. That's fine. They aren't even gonna reach me in time. Okay, let's try and knock him down again. A lot of revenants. Go over there. Painful interdiction. Th just the usual routine, honestly. Uh, you can now go over here. I don't want them to circle anymore. I want to close off this area. Well. And the books are going to pretty much just destroy them all. And you can also throw out the phantom foes. How may I uh, Aloth, Aloth, please, man. Stop being confused. And now let's see if I can actually hit them with this. Yeah, this time it worked. <laughs> okay, shoot, shoot. Okay, the Revenant is the last one. Uh, the Dargul is the last one alive, as usual. 
I'm actually gonna try Soul Ignition. This go... Oh, it's against Fortitude. This is Will. So go for the Will one. Okay. And, oh, level up! Who leveled up? I leveled up! Yay! Okay. So this means that my other people should be close by as well. Yeah, really close. Really close. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Good. Let's see if I can still get another Keep fight here. An out. I don't want to go down here yet. I think that one is for a little bit later. Camping supplies. Well, at least we have two camping supplies in this region if we need to rest. And we will probably need to rest for some of the things we're going to do here. Heritage Hill Cemetery. I see something. Ooh, secret. Just some gold, some gold. Another building. Can I not go here? No. Another entrance. From here, the mansion appears deserted. I wanted to leave the exploration of the houses for the, the next episode. But I also want the extra experience. <laughs> I think I'm actually gonna, gonna do this area then. This area, I, if I remember correctly, is a little bit more scary. Also because you don't really have a proper, um, a proper choke point. Or maybe I'm confusing myself. Wait, this is not what I was thinking. Oh. No, I... Uh? Am I getting my areas mixed up? No, no, no. It Okay, this is it. This is the area that I, I kind of feel a little bit. But I am going to attempt it, because this way I can also check the level ups uh, in between episodes, so you guys don't have to wait. But yeah, I do remember there being uh, a somewhat large fight in this region. I'm just checking my spells. I wish I had some more. But I think I'm still fine. Let's not, let's not be greedy. I am going to rest. I don't want to be greedy and just get there killed over here for nothing. Doesn't seem worth it. So we are going to rest. We are going to change our racial accuracy bonus for vessels. Or honestly for you, I could just give you damage reduction. Yeah, damage reduction for you. I'm going to want extra accuracy against vessels on pretty much everybody else. Okay, vessel, vessel, vessel. This seems fine to me. Let's rest. Okay. <clears throat> Wonderful. Hey. All right then. Hey, it's daytime. It there is gonna drink his mead for one extra point of damage reduction. And let's see if I still remember this right. Okay. Hey. All right then. Because I think there's a large amount of enemies here. Yeah, and there are some wizards as well. So the Dargul, I'm gonna try and leave for last because I, I don't want to start spending a lot of time on the tank. <clears throat> okay, and let's back up over here. Okay, let them come. I'm actually going to use my summons this time, let's not forget. And I can place them... Uh, I want to place them in front of it there, I think, if possible. Maybe here, let's see if that works. Your thoughts must... Uh, not really. Okay. So, you guys come over here. Okay, go bite that guy. You bite this guy, you bite that guy. And the wizard is the one I'm concerned about. If I can shoot them from over here, I'm gonna be happy. 
If not, I'm gonna be sad. So two wizards, uh, the bouncing things are the kind of suck. You can just stay over here there. The usual painful interdiction. You shoot this guy, you shoot that guy, you shoot that guy. And I'm just moving, I'm just flanking pretty much. I want to see if I have line of sight. Oh, I do have line of sight for this guy. Okay, perfect. Let's try and blind him. You gave a nice shot, so let's toss out the, the knockdown thingy. Over here. Okay. Nice, blinded, injured, awesome. I'm gonna use my deleterious alacrity of motion from my robe to shoot faster. And I am gonna start using some stuff here from my friend, Aloth. He's also gonna buff himself. And I believe... I wanna give damage reduction to the party here. Yes. Yeah. Okay, damage reduction is fine. I have Deleterious Alacrity of Motion, so this wizard won't last very long. We're gonna shoot these people. He also has it. I'm actually gonna toss out some fireballs here, because I like casting fireballs and I haven't done it in a while. So much. Okay, I don't like that damage. I'm gonna put you over here. For you. And we are gonna heal and start tossing the fireballs. This is a prime position for this. <laughs> um, I want another one of these, but I'm gonna have to wait. Okay, the heal came just in time because as you saw, the, boun the bouncing missiles dealt a lot of damage to my people. One fireball went out, let's see the damage. Fireball, one miss, three grace, three hit, two crit. That's quite nice amount of damage. I am. I should have started with this though, Eldritch Aim, to get plus 15 accuracy. So do this, and then nuke again. And then you can just book. And I'm just queuing up actions here, as I've explained before. Okay, he's buffed, fireball, books, more books. <laughs> just look at the damage. <laughs> I like my wizards. Uh, Aloth, so you are fine. Um, let's lick him. Let's, let's drop him to the floor. Oh, perfection. Just look at this perfection. I'm very proud of myself, I know. Give me a break. But yeah, Eldritch Aim plus disabling effects. Every single person in the area went down. This is awesome. And now, since we have Blast, we're gonna see the AoE damage coming out of him. We can move Kana to the front. We're gonna do some nasty stuff. Look, this is all Blast damage from Aloth. Try to paralyze them all, which is also gonna be a very nice thing to have. Another one of these thingies. And let's all be very happy looking at people falling down dead. Dude, the paralyzation did not hit anyone. <laughs> okay, Darghouls, don't care about. Oh, they're all Darghouls. Never mind then. Phantom Foes. Your thoughts must flow deep. We are just nuking. Which is what we want. Uh, Eder got paralyzed for 4 seconds. That's fine, he's not gonna die. And the cool stuff, the cool thing about this buff, the deleterious alacrity of motion, it lasts for quite a long time. 74 focus, Jesus Christ. Let's try and burn this guy. I don't think it's gonna land. Uh, let's see, it hit the Dargul. 130.4 burn damage over 13.4 seconds. Okay, so let, let's see how the burn damage works. And I'm also gonna give him Recall Agony as an additional dot. Just have fun. 
I heard the level up. Done. Okay. Really? You were the only one to level up in there? Yes. Why don't my friends do the same thing as it there? I guess I guess we pretty much already had the bestiary full. So Dark Ghouls, I'm still at 50%. Yeah, I think Oh I can't I cannot go any further back. Which is sad. Yeah, I don't think we got a lot of experience from the skeletons. Makes me sad. Such a big fight and not a lot of experience. Oh well. Let's turn this back on before I forget. I like having the protection on by default. You have your thingy. <clears throat> Let's look at the spoils. Awesome. Of course. Awesome. I gotta end the episode, but I'm very curious as to what's down here. Ooh, lovely. Okay, but I'm, I'm not gonna go any further here. Th this is for later. You guys are gonna have to wait. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to position my people, I believe, in this region. And my next goal for the next episode... Besides leveling up, I might wait for the le for all of the level ups to be done before I start leveling them up. Or I'll just level up Cordum and there before we start. But my next goal is going to be this area right here. And this area is very, very extremely dangerous. But I think I, think I, can, I can do it at this point. And hopefully everything will go fine. Well, uh, so as always guys, thank you so much for being here with me in the channel. We're gonna call it for this episode right here. We have explored most of Heritage Hill. We only need to go inside the several houses. And then there's something else very special in this corner, but that's for later, I think. Um, I hope you guys had fun watching me kill some zombies or some vessels. As usual, if you guys have any questions, any suggestions, anything at all, leave a comment below. If you want to get notified about other videos coming to the channel, you know what to do. Feel free to subscribe. The videos are coming out every single day. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe, everyone. <laughs>